all right what is going on everyone and welcome to our elder scrolls online high aisle playthrough so you guys have been very supportive of the series ever since day one in 2014 when we played the game every expansion that has ever come out on eso we've definitely played it uh today i do apologize for the late videos is because originally the servers were supposed to go up for elder scrolls uh like 11 a.m eastern time and they went up actually it got delayed until 8 p.m the same day and so that means i had about nine hours of having to be productive in real life while i was waiting for the servers which is fine i was doing some other stuff anyway but anyway it is now 1 a.m i just recorded a video for tales of tribute which is the card game and it's going to be a separate thing, so hopefully you guys will watch that. It's pretty fun, actually, the card game. But anyway, as usual, our high aisle playthrough, we're going to be doing a full 100% Let's Play. Uh, some of this, you guys have probably seen, it's a little discovered. Uh, I can assure you, we did not do any of the story yet. I went to get the crafting stations so I could put the tunables into my house. Uh, but that's it. I didn't start the story. We're going to start from the very beginning. And hopefully you guys are going to enjoy the series. If you are, drop a quick like on the video and let's get that off to a good start. But before we start, I want to say that I will be giving away two copies of this game. Um, it doesn't matter if you're on PC or console. A uh, console comes out a little bit later. But all you have to do is uh, follow me on Twitter and let me know what your at name is in the comments so I could uh, actually send it to the right person. And let me know why you think you should win. So, because YouTube doesn't allow me to private message people, I have to do it on another platform, and I guess Twitter's the one I chose this time. So, follow me on Twitter, and that's about it. Let me know why you want to win. You don't even have to sub. You don't have to like the video. I would really appreciate the likes, but you don't have to. And, uh, yeah, so in about a week from now, I'll be picking some people. And, yeah. Anyway, with that said, we're in High Isle. This is where we got the expansion. I actually got it ready to go. So we're in town. We didn't start any quest yet. Uh, this is the waypoint where you get off. And I guess we just talk to him. Before we do that, let me raise the audio because it's pretty low. 45 and then dialogue at 85. Hold up. Let me see. We'll see how it is. Fresh off the boat, eh? <laughs> High Isle is a good place for an adventurer to earn some gold, provided you have the right connections. The name's Jakarn. My patron needs someone like you. An unknown, so to speak. It'd be worth your time to befriend her. Lady Arabelle DeVoe. Maybe you've heard of her. She's a famous investigator and author. Diplomat, too. Which is why she's here. She runs in circles way above my station. <laughs> But I owe her a debt that I'm trying to pay. Maybe you can help me do that. A fair bit of gold, most likely. Lady Arabelle works for one of the richest nobles in all Tamriel, Lord Baccaro Valoris. He's sponsoring an important conference here on the island. But there's a problem. Trust me, the payday will be worth it. Do you know who I am? The savior of Tamriel? Millions of gold? You think I need more? No, I'm just kidding. All right, let's go Lady do that. Arabelle will appreciate an outsider's perspective. She's at the Gonfalon Bay docks with Lord Baccaro, if you want to introduce yourself. The problem I mentioned, it involves some missing ships. Anyway, tell her Jakarn sent you. I'm her favorite. Long story. It involves multiple maidens, a few princes, and one charming rogue who stole all their hearts. Then the authorities got involved. Fortunately, Trouble in paradise. Responsibility for my good behavior. Now I owe her. It's kind of sus, dude. Tell her you like her. It's fine. But yeah, as always with every expansion, I tried. When I say a hundred percent, I mean every single thing, one hundred percent. And that's what we've been doing for like literally every expansion that we've played. I've done some things on other characters, so you could watch like literally thousands of videos on my channel of Elder Scrolls Online. And if you want to watch literally in the, the entire game, 
it'll probably take you a few months to watch all the videos but you can it's there hopefully you enjoy it but with high isle i was really playing the card game for like the past four hours since servers went up and now it's uh 1 30 in the morning and i'm doing the story <laughs> so there was a storm off the coast perhaps it delayed the ships Forgive me if I do the job you hired me for, Lord Bakaro. You Bro, or glasses. I want those. I have a keen eye for talent, my dear, and you're practically oozing it from your paws. I am Lady Arabelle DeVoe. If you're looking for gainful employment, I have a proposition for you that pays exceedingly well. Care to hear more? No, nah, I'm good, and we just leave. I like her outfit, though. Oh, nothing tawdry, my dear. We'll be too busy for romantic shenanigans before long, I expect. Some precious cargo was supposed to sail in on the morning tide, but it never arrived. I need someone not known around the island to be my eyes and ears. While tales of my exploits credit me with all sorts of talents, I can't be in more than one place at a time. I could use a fresh face to mingle with the locals. Determine if anyone knows anything about my three missing ships and their cargo. Lord Bakaro's conference can't proceed without that cargo. Here's what I need you to do. Check the inn, the lighthouse, and the lock of Bane Shallows. See if anyone knows or saw anything. Then meet me outside the north gate to compare notes. Conference. The gentleman beside me, Lord Bacaro Valoris, leads the Society of the Steadfast. They're a philanthropic fellowship that provides aid to people who have suffered in the Three Banners War. The Society is sponsoring a conference here on the island. That's a well-guarded secret, my dear. Perhaps after you've proven yourself, I can bring you in on the details. For the moment, knowing any more won't help us find out what happened to my missing ships. That's not an option I care to contemplate. Not while there's still a chance to find them. Forgive me for being evasive, but it's a rather sensitive topic to discuss in public. We've already faced adversity, and the conference has yet to begin. Me? Oh, I'm no one special, my dear. I've been an adventurer, a Lion Guard officer, a spy, a diplomat. People claim the Investigator Vale stories are about me or that I wrote them. Ridiculous. I'm retired now, but I still dabble from time to time. In what? Which one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, pish posh. Do these look like the ink-stained fingers of a writer of overly imaginative and lurid tales to you? I'm rather fond of the baldy investigator and her adventures, though. They remind me of my younger days. I'm overseeing security for the conference. A few months ago, Lord Bacaro approached me, explained his grand plans, and lured me out of retirement, you might say. Weird flex, but okay. My charming personality... When I was an agent for High King Emmerich, I traveled widely and met many dignitaries, including Lord Bacaro. He asked me to make sure everything went smoothly for his conference. So far, it's been anything but. Certainly. Since you're new to High Isle, I understand you may not be as familiar with the local area as I am. What do you wish to know? Gonfalon Head Lighthouse, blessed by Kinnereth herself, stands atop the hill just west of town. It offers an excellent vantage from which to watch the nearby waters. Perhaps the lighthouse keeper saw something that will help. Possibly. When ships fail to make port, it's only natural to wonder if they were damaged or blown off course by a storm. The lighthouse keeper has a perfect view of the approach to Gonfalon Bay. If my ships were out there, she might have seen them. I think I gotta raise the audio a little bit. <sighs> ah, a visitor. Or another one of Lady Arabelle's associates. Either way, welcome to our island. Bacaro Valoris, founder of the Society of the Steadfast, at your service. 
I hope you find your visit to High Isle restful and profitable. Yes, a sudden squall of unusual intensity. It died out just as quickly as it arose. I noticed it off to the northeast. Dark clouds filled that part of the horizon. Perhaps our ships were delayed by the shifting winds, or decided to wait out the storm. In. Lighthouse. Shallows. Or lighthouse. Shallows. In. Yes. Uh, let's use purple food since we're just questing. We don't need any super expensive things. I don't know. I don't really know the layout of this town too well. So if I get lost, just the usual. <laughs> Is this the inn? Not the inn. Did I put a marker there? This one, it told me to go there. But yeah, if this is the first time you've ever seen me play the Elder Scrolls Online, we've been playing Elder Scrolls in general for a long time, or Skyrim, and then we've just been playing the online version, the MMO, for eight years. Have you heard about the band of robber knights? Bro, your outfit. on the road to Gonfalon Bay. I came to High Isle to trade, but getting goods from the interior has become a roll of the dice. A rogue band that calls itself the Ascendant Order. I thought they were only active on the mainland, but they're here on High Isle. Rabble rousers and troublemakers, if you ask me. And now I hear they're looting caravans outside the city walls. Not specifically, but I saw some fancy pants nobles giving the Dockmaster grief. Missing ships could mean anything. Storms, pirates, poor winds, worthless navigators. Try Sergeant Dane over there. He's with the sister's guard and knows a lot. Okay. Uh, I'm off duty, newcomer. Got a complaint to that. one of the other guards. We police High Isle. Ships that haven't arrived yet aren't our problem. Besides, we've got our hands full with these so-called Ascendant Order Knights. They're stirring up trouble all across the island. Just that they're little more than well-armed bandits. They've been recruiting the poor to bolster their numbers. Now they're robbing caravans while claiming they fight for justice. <laughs> Honest folk don't hide their faces behind helmets and masks. Yeah, they do. That's like every military. <laughs> but okay. They're malcontents. They go on about how the high and mighty misuse their power by squabbling over the ruby throne. It started out small enough. Defying authority, inciting riots, petty sabotage. But now they're hurting people. Sounds like America. Feels bad. Something else, newcomer? I'd like to get back to my drink. No, I'm good. Ordinary bandits, the sister's guard can handle. But when we send enough guards to meet a company of Ascendant Order Ravagers, these faceless knights just melt away. And if we don't send enough guards, then our guards don't come back. Might as well be. Most knights proudly display their emblems. They wear the colors of their house and paint family crests on their shields. These Ascendant Order knights never remove their helms and bear no devices. They could be anybody. I IL just looks so good. I'm gonna be honest. It's really nice. Um Okay, so let's pretend I don't have this waypoint. I'm gonna go let's go to the shallows first, because that one I think is closer. I'll try not to use too many waypoints up until uh, 
it gets like obnoxious to get and as usual we'll be getting all the sky shards and all the stuff along the way so welcome to a new mmo i'm gonna get sidetracked pretty often so just expect that Maybe one day, next year, I'll be 3,600 CP. Maybe one day. Hello? What are we looking for? You don't look like a salvager. Come to join up with those so-called knights who've been hanging around, did you? Bah! I'd rather go hungry than swear myself to the likes of them. Haven't seen anything sail by in the lock recently, and no new wreckage washed up today. But no I'm new wreckage washed out. up. Those robber knights have been chasing off salvagers who won't promise to help them. They were recruiting, or at least offering the chance to earn a reward. They wanted people ready to haul in whatever came ashore. Several salvagers went with them. I wouldn't, though. What I find is mine. To a cave just down the beach. But I'd avoid it if I were you. Old Charbel nearly lost his head snooping around there. I don't know if they found what they were looking for. But I think they left a few nights behind to watch the shallows. Let's get good. Alrighty. Um, going up. Maybe not. <laughs> but yeah, it's always pretty exciting when a new expansion comes out. There's always a lot to do. A lot to get distracted. Get away from me, stupid thing! Is it gone? Let me get this waypoint. I know we're going a little bit off track, but it's gonna happen. Don't worry, we'll do all the side quests at the end. Me, what in the world, you were just there. Is it gone? I don't know, bro. But yeah, we'll do all the side quests, all the main story, but usually I like to start with the main story just because it's uh, usually pretty good. Sometimes in certain areas, the side quests are a lot better, but we'll see. I'm about to eat myself off if I can't find it in two seconds. Search the cave. So where is this cave entrance that we are looking for? In this area somewhere. Feel like I've been there. What cave are we searching? Uh. Alright, game. Which cave are we searching? This one? Not even a cave. Found a donut, though. Oh. 
I actually have no idea where I'm going. What cave are we going to? Way shrine it's right there. So we gotta go investigate the lighthouse, which is funny because there's another lighthouse over here, but it tells you to go to the other one. Hornflower be hard stop for those this area is actually really nice though like just the scenery it reminds me of somerset in a way but breton land I just like areas that are like sunny and colorful. It just makes me happy. Oh, oh, a traveler. I thought those vile knights had returned. Forgive me. I must continue praying for the return of our idol. Without it, this tower's light will remain dark. This lighthouse is special. It's blessed by Kinnereth, the god of winds and sea. No fire serves as a beacon for nearby ships, but the divine light of Kinnereth herself. But without the sacred idol, the light cannot shine. Alas, knights in unmarked livery broke in and stole the Kinnereth idol. I watched the scoundrels flee to the west with the sacred edifice. Perhaps, dare I ask, would you be willing to recover the idol for the lighthouse so I may restore the beacon? They may wear the garb of knights, but the ruffians who assaulted me carry themselves like robbers and outlaws. Whoever they are, they're dangerous. Be wary of them, and may the wind guide you. Bless you, traveler. Please understand, to my order, this is more than just a lighthouse. This beacon spreads Kinnereth's blessing across both land and sea, but only with the idol in place, so it must be returned. It is marvelous, is it not? This is actually the second beacon to stand atop Gonfalon Head. It dates back to the early first century. When I assumed my duties here, the tower was in poor repair. Dangerous, even. When Duchess Alea Dufort assumed her father's duties a few years ago, she ordered a complete renovation of the structure. I'm sure she wanted to protect trade in Gonfalon Bay, but she spared no expense in rebuilding the lighthouse. Got it. Yeet. We're dead. Oh, we survived. <laughs> Bet. Let's do it. Doggo versus Snakeo. That looks like a large dinosaur. Oh, hello. No, I don't want that. I want the idol. Why you gotta put it next to everything, bro? What?
You return, and with the idol. Place it here, and I... Mother Kinnereth, this traveler has set right the desecration of this holy place. Return to us your blessing, and let your light shine over the land and sea. I cannot thank you enough. With the idol returned and the light restored, we can ensure the safe passage of many a weary traveler. Is there any way a priest of humble means could repay you? A blessing, perhaps? Hmm. Shortly after the lighthouse was pillaged, I spied three ships on the horizon. Then suddenly, the clouds darkened, and a terrible storm began to blow in. I lost sight of the ships after that. Perhaps they were simply blown off course? Aminos is notorious for its storms, but Kinnereth generally blesses High Isle with fair weather. I wonder. The way the storm swept in seemed unnatural, and it happened so soon after Kinnereth's idol was removed. The idol has little value outside the lighthouse. Its light does not shine in any other location. My order believes Kinnereth's light blesses High Isle. Why steal the idol unless the knight's meant to revoke her protection? A troubling thought indeed. I can tell this is already going to be an excellent playthrough. The scenery is nice. A lot of the stuff is uh, looking good. I like Bretons in this game. Why are you here? Why aren't you in like in room? Good, you found my field office. I thought I'd keep an eye on the lock while awaiting your report. My own investigations have turned up little about our missing ships. Tell me, did you uncover anything useful? Did the lighthouse keeper spot them? Darken the beacon. The locals revere that light. Who would dare offend Kinrith in such a way? Something is indeed wrong here. At least our missing ships reach these waters, but this storm worries me. Tell me more about the rogue knights. The Ascendant Order, oh, of course. I thought the rumors about rogue knights troubling folk outside of town had a familiar ring. But I'd hoped we'd seen the last of the Order at Sword's Rest. Tell me, did you learn anything at the Shallows? It Shipwreck seems survivors. The Order knew the ships would be wrecked, and they helped make sure by extinguishing the lighthouse beacon. They knew my cargo was coming to High Isle. This means the Fighters Guild and Majors Guild delegates are in danger too. Ah, you caught that, did you? My missing cargo is more delegates for the conference, perhaps the most important ones. But I need you to check on the guild delegates right now. They went to visit a druid named Ravana. Her hut lies to the west. Her name is Ravana. She's something of a local apothecary. She uses her skill with herbs and healing to help the folk of High Isle. With the conference delayed, Valesia was curious about druidic magic, so off she went. Quentin decided to tag along. Valesia of the Major's Guild is a dear friend. We shared a few adventures when she was starting out, and I called upon her when I needed help with a conference. She enchanted the invitation medallions the delegates require to attend the conference. I only met Guild General Quentin when he arrived. He seems to have a good head on his shoulders, but the war has cost him dearly. He lost his wife in a raid. I understand why Sag. the Fighters Guild chose to send him to the conference. To disrupt the peace talks? It would be a grand stage for the Ascendant Order's message. Or they might plan to strike at the delegations. Influential voices from all three alliances will be here soon. A tempting target. The Ascendant Champion Superior. 
When we defeated the champion at Swords Rest Isle, we only defeated one of the Order's leaders. I've heard whispers about an Ascendant Lord, too. I can't imagine there are too many more of them after that. So while you sit here drinking your tea, you expect me to do it. Got it. Uh, the sun, it's bright. <laughs> All right, so we are going in. You know, when I thought of hut, I didn't think like this is a temple, more or less. This is like an advanced hut. That's fancy. Greetings, traveler. Is there something I can do for you? Do you need a poultice or perhaps an herbal tea? No, I'm good. Ah, yes. The curious mage and the stern warrior. They stopped by. When I mentioned that rogue knights had been making the countryside dangerous, they decided to investigate. I told them where I'd last seen the knights and they set out at once. A clearing to the southwest. I'll mark the spot on your map. I saw a band of the knights gathering there the last time I went out to gather herbs. They forced me to retreat without them. I warned Valesia and Quentin it might be dangerous. Man, these both feel like rude to ask. Oh, you'll find druids throughout the Sisters Archipelago. Not too many on the mainland, though. Long ago, we druids left Tamriel and its troubles behind us. But here, our ancient ways survived. Our forebears among the Bretons believed civilization should live alongside nature, not tame it. In the early years of the Dereni hegemony, they struggled for the soul of High Rock. They lost. Driven into exile, the druids left to seek a place where they could live according to their beliefs. Their wanderings brought them to the sisters. The followers of the weird remained behind. They walked a different path than the druids. We follow the old ways. Some call us priests of Ifray, but that is only part of our truth. We are children of the land, like the weird. Guides and teachers to those who live in harmony with nature. People were not meant to bow before crowns of metal. Our people, the Breton people, went astray when they forgot the ways of nature. Stone walls and empty titles separate folk from the true way. We help them remember what their ancestors once knew. Some circles see it differently, of course. Burrows, you are seeing what I'm seeing, right? Circles are fellowships of like-minded druids. Each interprets Ifray's will differently, but druids of the same circle share common traditions and goals. I belong to the Stone Lore Circle. We seek to teach others by the example of our work. Yes, travel far enough in the archipelago and you may meet druids of the Elder Tide or Firesong Circles. Although the Firesong rarely leave their island, and you should be wary of the Elder Tide. They do not like city folk or mainlanders. Why do you, uh, tie, like, onions and radishes to a thing? I thought you did that for, like, seafood and animals because you can't, like, fit them on a table. But clearly can. We don't ask questions here. Let's just go with it. Don't worry, boys. We'll do all the side quests later. Oh my god. Look. Look at the look at the field. When you ride through it, look at how the field goes up and down. 
As you turn back, it sinks into the ground. Go forward. There's more of them. Oh my god, the rendering. I mean, it looks nice. It's just like... Over here, I... I could use some help. <clears throat> New phone, who dis? You're the one Lady Arabelle spoke to at the docks, aren't you? You volunteered to help investigate the ships that failed to reach port. It's good to see a friendly face, especially after what just happened. I'll be honest, I don't remember who you are. Guild General Quentin accompanied me to visit Druid Ravana. When she told us about rogue knights in the area, Quentin was eager to investigate. It was the Ascendant Order. They overpowered Quentin and knocked me senseless. They captured Quentin. I don't think so. The Ascendant Order was definitely trying to take us alive. That's the only reason I had the opportunity to throw up a shroud spell and avoid being captured myself. Did you come out here to find us? And Ravana told you where to find us. Good. Now, we must rescue Quentin. I may have a way to find where the Ascendant Order took him, but we should get to safety first. Meet me back at Druid Ravana's hut. We were just there. I understand, Valesia. Do what you must to find your friend. I owe you a debt of gratitude for coming to my... I owe you a debt of gratitude for coming to my aid. I owe you a debt of gratitude. I enchanted the invitation medallions that each delegate carries, so I can trace my own magic to locate Quentin. Now let me see. They moved north and east, across the lock. I see a chapel, crypts, maybe abandoned? No question. Quentin is there. Bet. I got him. Lady Arabelle asked me to try as soon as we realized the ships were late. I wasn't able to make a connection with those medallions. Maybe they were too far away, or some other magic interfered with my scrying, but I wasn't able to detect anything. No, we need to return to Lady Arabelle and share this information. Then we can mount a rescue for Guild General Quentin. I'll meet you at Lady Arabelle's little pavilion. What she calls her field office, I believe. Real question is, how does that thing, like, fit on your head? Like, doesn't fall off? Where is it connected? How does this work? It's just on your forehead. Hello. It sounds like a Bane Chapel, but only one medallion is there. Valesia apprised me of the situation. I believe I know the place where she thinks they're holding Quentin. It must be the crypts below a Bane Chapel on the northern shore of the lock. Will you accompany us on this rescue mission, my dear? Smashing. This will be like that time I pulled General Gautier out of a Reach stronghold during the border raids of 566. Now that was an adventure. Anyway, it's too bad Valesia couldn't scry the locations of the other missing delegates. I suppose you've earned the truth, and you certainly deserve my complete confidence. The three ships carried High King Emmerich, Queen Irene, and Prince Ernskar, son of Jorin the Scald King. I dare say I've misplaced the leaders of Tamriel. I said you deserve the truth. Lord Bakaro invited the Alliance leaders here for peace talks. He hopes to end the Three Banners War. If we find Quentin with the Ascendant Order, we may find our missing royals. Meet me at the chapel north of the lock. We'll rendezvous at a Bane Chapel on the north side of the lock. 
I've already sent an operative ahead to scout the area. Be prepared to defend yourself. The Ascendant Order won't give up Guild General Quentin without a fight. I kind of already know who these are. It's just if you've played the game, you know who they are. If it's a trap, I don't want to know. I'm going to YOLO it. I will see you guys in the next episode.